the plan gave renewable energy developers a roadmap uh, for where they can develop and more certainty in the permitting process and also included efficiencies to speed things up so that we can produce the renewable energy. It also included my own input, making land under the Salton Sea part of the development focus areas so that renewable energy development can continue uh, to be part of the overall plan to mitigate the decline of the Salton Sea. As you know, I've been a big proponent in using the renewable energy component in the southern portion of the Salton Sea through geothermal energy, and this is something we got accomplished which would allow that uh, ability uh, to determine the southern portion as a renewable energy zone so that we can foster geothermal energy in our quest to mitigate the dust exposure in the Salton Sea. The bottom line is that the Desert Renewable Energy Conservation Plan is an example of how local, state, and federal government and private citizens and organizations can come together with tribes and industry to protect our most precious natural and cultural resources while cutting red tape for renewable development where appropriate and helping us achieve energy independence as a state and as a nation. It took eight years with thousands of people working together to come to an agreement.